When I was in grade school, Helen Keller fascinated me. I can't tell you how many times I read my scholastic book of her story. I'm sure that that fascination of mine comes from the fact that I'm an Enneagram type six. I could just imagine and empathize with how it must have been for her to navigate her world in complete darkness, in complete silence, with the two senses that I most rely on being completely inaccessible. That thought terrified my young self. And in fact, it kind of still does. And yet, her story is so inspiring, even obligating. Everything that she was able to overcome, everything that she was able to accomplish. If young Helen Keller could do all of that, then certainly my privileged, able self is obligated to put in my very best effort. Helen Keller gave me the courage to be my best self. March is Developmental Disability Awareness Month. And here, I would like to acknowledge another important person in Helen Keller's journey, Anne Sullivan, her teacher and lifelong companion. Sullivan patiently nurtured Keller to become a prolific author and an activist touring the world for helping those with disabilities. Both Sullivan and Keller recognize the potential of all humans to fully contribute given the right support. The movie Crip Camp was released last year telling the story of the fight for Americans with Disabilities Act. I strongly recommend you watch this inspirational film. I hope that you, like I, come away feeling a sense of pride for how that law has extended civil rights to all those with disabilities. And I close with the words of one of Helen Keller's inspirational figures, Mahatma Gandhi, who said, the true measure of any society can be found in how it treats its most vulnerable members. Thanks for listening.